to, eyeball has to have 80. It already has 20. So how many walk in public transit only? 60. And 100 students cycle and use public transit eyeball. So there should be 100 here. There's already 20 in it. So how many only public transit and cycle? 80. So I'm done all the, the middle and, and then the single ands, the eyeballs. Now I need to go to the single circles. Wherever there's a single circle, I can do next, right? So the only one that has a single circle is 370 use public transit. Does it say public transit only? No, if it said public transit only, I would go here and I'd go 370. But it doesn't say public transit only, it says public transit. So I go to the public transit circle, which is this. And in here, I should have 370. I currently have 160, right? So how many use public transit only? 210. What did you do? You got 370 minus 60, 20, and 80. Now, the snowman. You have to pick a snowman or an ore where only one piece of information is missing. So, for example, if I pick the walk or cycle snowman, I'm missing two pieces of information, correct? I can't just subtract and then divide by two and put it there. I cannot do that. So I'm going to have to pick the or, the snowman first, that involves either public transit and cycle or public transit or walk, right? Because then they would only be missing one piece of information. So the one that I have is cycle or public transit. So 445, cycle or public transit snowman. So in here, I should have 445. I currently have 385. So how many cycle only? 60. Now I can go to this walk or cycle because I filled in a piece of the cycle, correct? So the ores, you do have to watch which order you do them in. So now I go to the walk or cycle snowman, which is here. In this snowman, because it's or, I have to have 265. I currently have 100, 220, 235, and I need 265. So how many walk only? 30. I have 100, 220, 235. And I need 265, so it's 30. What can't I forget? People who don't take green transportation at all. Remember, I always have to have nine pieces of information filled in on a three circle. I have one, two, three, four, five, nine, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Two circles have four, three circles have eight. Double the amount. So I take that, I go 265. This is the 465, 475, and I need to get to 750. What's 750 minus 475? So does that make sense how we fill it in? So with that, we can answer questions. How many students cycle and walk only? Cycle and walk only. 15. Because this is the cycle and walk eyeball, but I can't do public transit. Cycle and walk only is just a 15. Walk or use public transit. Or is what shape? The snowman. So I go to walk or public transit, this whole thing. So I get 100, uh, 310, 370, 400, 415. Get that? Do not use green transportation. How many? 275. You got it. Use public transit only. 210. It's just that little piece in the public transit circle. Use exactly one form. Which ones am I adding up? All the single ones. So 210, 60, 30, which is 300. Example three, we're skipping for now, but we'll come back to it because we actually have to solve for the middle piece, which is harder to do. Okay? 
We're going to go to four. Try this one out. Here it says, in Big Hill High School, 185 grade 12 students were surveyed. So that's going to be our total. So I know that's my total, and inside my Venn diagram, I better have 185. 25 drank all three, 52 drank root beer and Coke, eyeball, 43 drank Coke and orange, eyeball, 57 drank root beer and orange, eyeball, 92 drank root beer, circle, 115 drank Coke, circle, 100 drank orange, circle, right? We have to work ourselves from middle, eyeballs, out to circles, and then ores, snowman if there are. This one didn't have any snowmen, so that actually made it easier. So here it says, Sabine started to organize the results in a Venn diagram. Starting from the inside and working outwards, she began by placing the 25 in the center of the three circles, which makes sense because it's where all three exist. Then it said, explain why she placed 27 in the region immediately above the 25. So why would she put a 27 here? Yeah, it's going to be uh, 52 minus 25. And the reason why is it's drank root beer and Coke. So it doesn't say root beer and Coke only, because then you put a 52 where the 27 is, right? It says root beer and Coke. So I go to the root beer and Coke eyeball, and it should have 52, right? So it says here, explain why she placed, because she needed the root beer and Coke only. So she subtracted twenty five from fifty two to get twenty seven. Use similar reason to place numbers in the regions left and right of twenty five. And um, then continue the process using the circle. So we just going, it's just giving us the process, right? So we just have to fill through the rest of the circles. So we did the alls. Then we have to do the ands, the eyeballs. So the next thing we have, 43, drank Coke and orange. Coke and orange is 43. How many are already in the eyeball? How many drank Coke and orange only? What did you get here? 18. 18 plus 25 is 42. Okay. Then, 57 drank root beer and orange. So in the root beer and orange, we did 57. How many are in the root beer and orange only? 32. Then we can go to any singles, correct? Singles are next. So here we have 92 drank root beer. So in the root beer circle, in the root beer circle we should have 92. How many do we have in there? How many are in root beer only? Eight. Because the whole thing should add up to 92. Do you agree? Then in the drank Coke, there's 115. So in here we should have 115. How many drank Coke only? And then in the orange, we have 100. So how many drank orange only? So I filled in seven spaces. On a three-circle Venn diagram, I need to fill in eight spaces. I haven't filled in the outside. How do I find out the outside? I add up all of the circles and subtract it from 185, right? How many didn't drink any of the three? Five? All right. Now we're going to answer some questions here. It says, determine the sum of all the numbers inside the circles. If the sum is not equal to 185, determine the number that must be placed in the regions outside the circles. It's 5. Okay. How many drank only Coke? 45. How many did not like to drink any of the three drinks? The 5 on the outside. 
Drank Coke or root beer. What shape is or? The snowman. So I go to the Coke or root beer snowman. And I add this all up. And how many do I get? 155. Drank Coke and orange. I'm pretty sure they gave that to those. How many was it? Coke and orange? Coke and orange is 43. I don't know why I asked that question. It's right here. If they said Coke and orange only, then it would be 18, right? So this is 40. Uh, I hate this one. It was doing so well for a little bit. 43. Coke and orange only would be 18. Oh my gosh. Drank exactly two drinks. Which numbers am I adding up? Exactly two drinks. What numbers? Give me a number. What other number am I adding up? 32, 18, 27. Those are exactly two. When you add them up, what'd you get now? 77. Okay, now we're flipping over. So, this is the last example of the notes for this unit. Hence, your test is on Tuesday. Tuesday. It's an open book, remember? Okay. Um, tomorrow, bring coloring. If you have coloring pencils, bring coloring pencils. Because you're doing a little coloring thing on your review. Okay. A group of 82 students were surveyed, and it was found that each of the following students liked at least one of the following three fruits. If they liked at least one, how many are going to be on the outside? None. A big old zero, right? Now you have to watch yourself here because what's in here? Onlys. Onlys. So you have to watch yourself. So we have 39 liked apricots, 50 liked bananas, 39 liked cantaloupe, 9 liked apricots and bananas only, 16 liked bananas and cantaloupe only, 19 liked apricots and cantaloupe. So Let's look through here and see what we can fill in. Do we know how many liked all three? When we don't know how many like all three in the two Venn diagram, we need the separate, the singles, the neithers, and the total, correct? If we don't know who like all three in a three-circle Venn diagram, we have to put an X in its place. An X there, okay? I would say that this is going to be outside the scope of 30-2 where they won't give you the all three. I've never seen it happen. But heaven forbid they do. And then I never show you that example. And you're the person who wants to get the highest mark you can. So I'm showing it to you just so that you can still do it. Okay? So let's fill in what we do know. So we know um, that we surveyed 82 students. And we know that this Venn diagram should have a box around it. It does, but it's faint. But let's put a box. Okay? We have apricots, bananas, and cantaloupe. So we don't know all three, so we put an X. We agree? Now we do know anything with onlys we can do right away. Anything with an only can go in because it doesn't have to subtract, correct? So we know nine liked apricots and bananas only. So I go to the apricots and bananas only spot and I put a nine. Check. Six liked bananas and cantaloupe only. So bananas and cantaloupe only, six. Oh, I hate this hole. 
Now here's the issue, are the not onlys. 19 liked apricots and cantaloupe. So in the apricots and cantaloupe in here, I have to have 19. What do I normally do to get this piece? This go 19 minus the middle, correct? What's my middle this time? X. So I have to go 19 minus X here. On the outside, we have 0. We know that, right? Talked about that already. Okay. Now, 39 liked cantaloupe. Cantaloupe and green. 39 liked cantaloupe. What do I normally do? 39, and then I do what? Minus this, minus this, minus this. So I still have to do that. So I go 39 minus x minus 19 minus x minus 6. Why did I put the 19 minus x in brackets? Right. You have to do that calculation before you can start. So in this case, we actually have to make sure that we put them, we minus both terms because there's more than one. So we're going to have to go 39 minus x minus 19 minus a minus x. So we get plus x, right? Minus 6. What happens with these x's? Luckily, they even cancel. So what's 39 minus 25? Thirty-nine minus twenty-five, fourteen. So actually, in this circle, we have fourteen because we lucked out, and the x's cancelled. Do the x's always cancel? No. Okay. Apricots. There are thirty-nine apricots. So in the apricot circle, I have to have thirty-nine. But I do them wrong. Oh, no, they're both 39. Sweet. I was scared. So this one's going to be 39 minus 9 minus x minus 19 minus x. So then we get 39 minus 9 minus x minus 19 plus x. Once again, the x is cancelled, luckily. So we get 39 minus 19 minus 9 is? Pardon? Now the catch is, you see how I'm showing the operations in the Venn diagram? You're not actually allowed to do that. So if this was a diploma, you'd have to do the operations off to the side and just put the 11 in here. Operations off to the side and put the 14. The Venn diagram can only contain the numbers. That's it. Okay? Bananas, there's 50. This one's actually going to contain an X because it's not going to cancel off. So I'm going to get 50 minus 9, minus x, minus 6. Then I collect like terms, which is the 50 minus 9 minus 6. So it's 50 minus 15, which is 35 minus x. So that's what this one stays at. So these circled ones are all the portions that make up that. And what should all those portions add up to? 82. So now I do polynomials off to the side down here. So I go 11 plus 9 plus 35 minus x plus 19 minus x plus x plus 6 plus 14 and it should equal 82. So let's put these together first. 11 plus 9. I pushed red. Okay. 11 plus 9 plus 
11 plus 9 plus 35 plus 19 plus 6 plus 14. Type that in. So we get 94. And if I put my x's together, I get negative x, negative x, positive x. What do I get? What's negative 1x minus 1x? Negative 2x plus 1x. Just negative x, right? Equals 82. And then I'm going to take 94 minus x equals 82. Subtract 94 from both sides. And I get negative x equals what? Negative. Yeah, 12 divided by negative 1, x equals 12. Then I can go in and fill in all the spots that have x's. Right? So this would not be an x, it would actually be 12. This would not be 19 minus x, it would be 19 minus 12, which is? 7. 14 still stays because it doesn't have an x. 6 still stays, doesn't have an x. 9 still stays, doesn't have an x. 11. And then this is 35 minus 12, which is? 23. Now, what's only allowed to show up on this Venn diagram? Numbers. The numbers. So if it were me and it was the diploma or unit test or whatever, which I'm not making you solve for an X on your unit test, I'm literally showing you this just in case for some unknown reason they would give this to you. I can't see them doing it because it's just a plain old three-circle Venn diagram as a standard of excellence. Having to solve for the X would be excessive. But I don't know what they put in a written response. So I don't want you to be ill-prepared, okay? Um, you won't get one of these on your unit test or on any test throughout the year, but I might give you another one just to practice just to see and during your class time if you can do it. So on this Venn diagram, everything else will be erased but the numbers. We can't do any operations on our Venn diagram. So here it says, how many students liked all three fruit? Twelve. How many students liked apricots but not bananas or cantaloupe? What are they basically asking for? Apricots, apricots only, which is? Eleven. Eleven. And then how many liked apricots and cantaloupe, but not bananas? So that's apricots and cantaloupe only. Apricots and cantaloupe only is? Seven. So you're going to work on some homework. I will post it. I just want you to work on a few, okay?